Hello, Internet! You are watching Mr. Axbane. I'm playing Farming Simulator 22, and this is episode 3 of my Griffin, Indiana series. Where we build a farm from scratch, and it's we, we wake up, it's uh, about 5.30 in the morning in the game. And, uh, it's raining. It's raining again. Which is fine. Because we have paper towels. That's... <laughs> Paper towel, paper towel. Okay. Don't know what that was. Alright, so we gotta get we're gonna get going. We're gonna get rolling, so the rain doesn't actually affect our ability to make the hay that we want to make from this grass that we mowed yesterday. So we're gonna get that done. And I left one of the tractors at the shop. So we're gonna hop on over there. And it's still there. Nice. Our dudes. Dudes. We appreciate you, dudes. All right. Uh, now, so gotta rent a tether. We can actually just press P and do that from the tractor. Go to the third option on the left. The uh, trailers and tools. And look for the tether. There they are. So we probably don't want the smallest one. That's 4.4 .4 meter, 8.7 meter, 9 meter, 17, 17 meter. Uh, it takes 100 horsepower, though. We might really struggle with that. 82, we just barely have enough of that. Uh, so we'll do that, I guess. Uh, yeah. So we're going to lease this header. It's going to take us, going to cost 841. We could buy it, but... Once I've made a bunch of hay, I don't know. I'll save some for myself and then sell a bunch, or sell the rest. And after that, I don't know if I'll make hay next time I harvest grass. I might, you know, might do something else, silage or something. So just lease it for now. Oh, I forgot to check too. I can't believe I forgot. Ah, oh, it's the first thing I do every morning in the game. Usually, check for used stuff. I want to get a good deal. Uh, a forage wagon. That's a big forge wagon. Oh, it takes 220 horsepower minimum to pull that. Yeah, okay, we can't really use that. Alright, well, that's fine. It won't be long, I'm sure, before there'll be something nice nice and enticing in the used equipment and used vehicle section. So, Alright, so I'm going to head back up to the farm. I'm going to keep recording here for a bit, though, and, and go over... Initial plans, I've mentioned some of this before in the previous couple episodes, but I think I'm going to start off with one field, or two fields, that I'm going to create with the plow. And I want to have other income streams, and so I was thinking sheep with hay and water, and horses, and I'll grow some sorghum or oats and, and or hay. I think they they eat hay as well, right? Hey, it's for horses. Is it not? Is it not, folks? Anyway, um, I'm not going to start with horses, though. Start with just sheep, I, would, I think, because otherwise I have to go really in debt to do that. That's me. Or not really, but like more than the sheep. All right. So, that's the initial plans. And I don't think I'm going to buy a second piece of land anytime soon. Maybe soon-ish, like maybe next year in the game but not this year not for the first year I think for the first year I'll just make do maybe even the first two years I think I can just mostly make like should hopefully make do with uh, on this is the nice covered bridge the wooden bridge mostly make do with one large field largish it's not really that large actually but I haven't been playing this game long enough and I switch and I start new save games frequently so I haven't actually gotten farther along where you're really using larger equipment and have a lot more fields and larger fields so uh, relatively actually small I guess but it feels big when you're starting out and like I say when I when you haven't played a lot of the later game equipment larger stuff I'm just admiring the view. I'm just enjoying the view. All right, all right, we're there. It's not so. It's not too far. Not too far, but it's far enough to feel like you're out in the country. All right. 
Although I'd like to do the inverse sometime, like right outside of town for awesome convenience. Either on this map or another map. Do something different instead of being way out here. In the, out, in the, out in the boonies. Out in the... Alright, so X to unfold. Can't hardly hear. Almost, It's almost quiet. Can't hardly hear the... You can hear the tractor, but you can't hardly hear the... Uh, the tether. At least I can't. Alright. And I lowered the volume a little bit because I noticed in the previous episodes it may have been a little louder, like the game sounds in the tractor. So, Alright, so... I think what else do I got to do? Hit B, maybe? I think it's that simple. Yeah, lower and hit B. So... And then... Wait, I didn't lower it yet, did I? B to lower. And this will just convert all the grass that it hits into hay. Uh, which is basically just dried grass. I missed a bit back there, and I tried to correct it. It started getting wild. These things are the wider... the You know, very wide tools like this are a little tricky to get used to, especially if you're trying to not do a completely straight line. Making hay. Alright, so... I'm going to pause the recording of the video and uh, do some more of this making hay, and then I'll come back with one that's uh, when I'll do more of it done. So it's about 9 a.m. in the game, and I'm still making hay. I've done about half of the field, I think. Which means we should probably still have several hours. Like, it'll probably take about till noon in the game, maybe, to totally finish with this step. Maybe, maybe sooner. And then we can get the wind rower to organize it in rows. You could just bring the baler down here without a wind rower, but then you have to go up and down the field so many times because you're only capturing a thin strip of the hay. So it's much better to wind row it and get it in nice, big, nice isolated rows so you can just go right down the row. The baling will go much faster that way, so it's going to be worth the cost to lease a wind rower. All right. Got more hay making to do on the farm today. <laughs> I don't know what kind of laugh? Sorry, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It was like an evil laugh. I got sinister plot intentions on the farm today. Grinding hay, but am I really? Am I really? Oh, I could be working on something evil. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Alright, back to it. So, still making hay, and this, gotta catch this little strip here of grass, and this tree here, it's gonna have to go soon, but I, like, I feel bad, even though it's just pixels, because it's like a nice, it's a young tree, and it's just, it's just out here in the sunlight, you know, it's just doing its thing, man, and I'm like, contemplating its destruction. <sighs> Is that, the, oh, maybe that's the evil plot intentions that I had on the farm, I just now realized what it was. Is that tree and murderous thoughts in my brain combined into one? <laughs> wow. I gotta tone back the silly. I, I guess I, I gotta tone it. I gotta tone it back. It's, it just happens. It keeps happening. I think I just enjoy this game so much and making videos is, of this is fun. It's fun. <laughs> it gets me going. It gets me. <laughs> it gets me all revved up. I don't know. Uh, Almost done. Okay, so we're almost done making the hay, and I'm gonna give you a tip about using this tether. This actually goes for a lot of a lot of tools. Let's say I'm making hay, I'm making hay, and I'm like getting to the end of the row here, and I need to reposition, right? So maybe I press B to turn off the header uh, or the tether or whatever. And I think I'm gonna. Oh, what's going on? I'm trying to move. I'm trying to back it up, and I'm Lord, it's just stuck on something. Isn't there? It's stuck on the ground, and it's just that I should also raise it for V. Z See that's lowered. Just gets it's on the ground, it gets stuck on the ground and stuff. It's harder to to drive forward and it's much harder to reverse with most tools if they're down on the ground. So turning it off isn't really enough. You should turn it off and raise it. Then you can back up. See, like now I can back up. It's not stuck at all. It's just freely moving. Maybe an obvious tip for some, but for beginners, it's really actually kind of important because you might get to wonder what's going on. You're trying to maneuver a thing and it just doesn't want to even back up, and you think you got enough horsepower, but it's not working. So, and this piece here is going to be tricky because it's so close to that tree. But there, there we go. That's not bad. Okay. All right, one last strip, partial strip to go up. Oh, see, see, it's hard to maneuver when you're at the wrong angle. All right, I have to raise it, turn it off, back up, pick it, get a bit straighter. 
and boom 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 VB and number three for cruise control and now I'm rolling again and it's not bad because I'm not trying to turn too much it gets squirrely when you try to turn too much with a wide tool oh I can't convert some of the grasses on somebody else's property it may have fallen on the other guy's property when I was mowing I think I think that's what happened there it didn't turn into hay I'm pretty sure that's fine it's a little bit just a little bit of grass all right so almost finished making making hay and then I can return the tool and I, I forgot about this in previous episodes but I think I can return the tool from from the interface I don't even have to actually take it back to town I don't know if you get less if you pay you know pay more fee if you do that but I don't want to do it both ways just to find out if it's cheaper but I'll just check and see if it seems cheap all right so I think yeah, I got all of it. The whole look at all that. Look at all the hay. That's a fairly. It should be a fairly. Although I realized also, I didn't realize this while I was making the previous episodes. But I'm sure there were some people who play farming and they were like, "What are you doing?" If you look at this grass, it's not, especially from above, it's not that thick and it's actually not that high because this is actually spring and I kind of forgot that like when you start in spring. Your grass is not going to be as thick. So I don't actually know if I'm going to make enough, get enough hay from that. I basically got less hay, I think. Less grass, less hay. Since it was young grass, because it dies off in the winter, or it gets it sort of dies off. It doesn't die away, but it gets shorter. It's reduced back to earlier growth stages. So I don't know if I'm going to actually make money from this endeavor. Because it may not have been enough hay to... But I'm going to save a decent chunk of the hay anyway for my, for my own animals so that I don't have yet, but that I will have. So it's not, it's, it's, it's all right. It should be fine. So let's do this thing. Press P. Bring up the shop interface. Oh, oh God, there is a new sale. I thought, did I check this morning? Maybe it happens like at noon on each day. I don't, or, all right. Whoa. See, I already have one. Though. This is a 9.2 meter header. It can't do as many crops too as this, or maybe it's actually I think it is the same crops. Ours is six meters, so and we already bought this one for like eleven thousand. Oh man, we shouldn't have bought that. <laughs> well, actually, since we haven't used it much, the one that we have here, I believe we can sell it, and we can actually do that from here too. And I, I, we will get less if we do that. If we sell something we own from home. But that's oh basically we still lose half of its of its value even though we haven't put any hours on it. Oh oh so we'd lose about five thousand in order to get let's see how much discount is that? It's over fifty three percent off. Or it's over fifty percent off, so that was normally closer to fifty thousand bucks. So we'd save twenty five thousand. So we'd still save like twenty thousand or something. And my math is not good. I'm not good at math. Not at all. Not basic math usually get by and I think that means it's alright I think we should sell this and it's actually back at the shop but anyway we'll just yeah we'll sell it from here because I, I think I have to move it with it's just sitting up anyway I can't just pick it up and I don't have a combine harvester to actually hook up to it to move it around we'll just sell so we'll sell the one we bought on sale but we'll get an even better deal get an even wider we might need a little bit larger of a harvester once we start using harvesters, but I'm probably going to lease a harvester the first couple of times, maybe. Unless I catch one on sale, because I don't know if I can afford a brand new harvester. Those things are very expensive. <laughs> um, there's some smaller options that I've got for mod, that are mods that make it... So there are some affordable ones, but in general, they're very expensive, so... Man, that That is actually kind of expensive, but that's a nice header. We'll have a nice... Yeah, we're still saving at least 20000 I think, if my terrible math is good. So that's the qualifier on that. Pretty soon we're going to have to start taking out money from the bank and loans to cover this stuff. So, Oh, and I was going to return I was gonna return the tether. Uh, let's see. Do I go here? No. Oh, I think I'd do it from here. Go to the map view. Select the tool. I can maybe because I'm standing too close to it. I'd select you might want to select me instead of the tool. There we go. Alright, so select the tether. 
Oh, I can't do. Oh, I can reset it maybe. Oh, it's sort of the cheaty, cheaty way to get it there to teleport it back to the town. And then you return it. Oh, okay, I could have sworn you could return stuff you that you were renting directly from. Oh, oh, here it is probably. Yeah. Okay. So you just instead of going to the garage here. You go to the key, the least items. I forgot about the least items section. And then, and then go in there and I can click return. All right, so. Okay, and it'll just go away, I guess. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, we don't actually have to take tools always back to the store to return them. Like I said, I don't know if there's a fee attached, but it's probably not bad. All right. Now, that means we need to take a tractor down there because I don't like to teleport the tractors with the reset unless they're stuck. I use reset only try to only use it when vehicles are stuck like and I can't get them back on their wheels because that's kind of what I feel like it's intended for um because otherwise it's like I just uh, teleport any vehicle to the shop button which is a little bit weird but I mean I use fast travel so whatever but I probably won't use that much all right so I'll resume the recording when I get back to town and here we go. Just reached the edge of town. I'm gonna pull up to the auto dealership and lease. Cause I don't think I want to buy this stuff yet. Um, I was gonna buy at least one of the things for making for making uh, hay and silage and stuff, but if I just have one of the tools. I don't know if that's that useful. So, probably lease the next thing, and maybe the next thing after that. So the next thing is a wind rower. And then after that, oh, did you see that guy glitch for a second? Like, the guy in the blue denim top. Okay, I saw a glitch in, like I saw a glitch in the in the Matrix or something. Like it was like <laughs> something's not right uh, with the space time continuum thing. Is that actually? Continuum, continuum, with an M. It might be there might be some sort of some sort of temporal anomalies happening. I said this wasn't going to be a roleplay series, and then what do I keep doing? Like, what is this? Why do I keep? Honestly, I swear to God, I wasn't going to do a roleplay series. I'm really not. It just happens. Like it, it's that immersion thing. I get into it, and I get like starting to think about the character in this, in this digital world. Listen to the, the breeze and the insects and the birds. <sighs> I don't. I it's just. Oh, it's just this game's so relaxing. You know, there's so much like, crazy, horrible stuff going on in the world, and it's nice that we have something we can do to like get away from that for a bit, at least for a short time. Anyway, that's a whole other, whole other can of. Oh, I'm not leasing anything right now. So. All right, so let's about to say that. All right, so so so, what do we? We gotta get the wind rower, and we gotta wind row the, the hay. <laughs> As I'm probably not using anything close to proper terminology, but we're gonna run the wind. We're gonna we're gonna run the wind rower through the field of hay to make tidy rows. And then the step after that is, of course, running the baler. So. This one's 4.7 meter. Wait, this is not even a. Or is it a different kind of wind rower? I've never, I never used this one. The SIP SIP Air 300F Alf Alp. Oh, this is a nice 8.4 meter, and it's probably not gonna be too bad to lease that. Oh wait, how much horsepower? It takes 80 horsepower. That's perfect. Exactly. We have 82 on both of our tractors. So uh, let's lease it and see what we can. Yeah, just under a thousand. Like I say, we may not actually make money off of it, but we're gonna get hay at least for our animals. And that's better than buying hay. Um, and we'll probably make some money. It's on normal economic difficulty, so it's not on hard. If it was on hard, I probably would lose money. I probably would have to think think this through better. I'd ha or unless I, the way to not lose money if you were on hard, you want to do something like this. Think of efficiency. So if you're gonna lease all this stuff having another field of grass so maybe actually take out a loan get one or two more pieces of land 
pay, you'll be paying more interest, but you can even sell the land after you harvest the grass. I guess you can do that, but you, at the very least, you can get a lot more grass at a time. So when you lease each of these things, your production will be much, your volume of production will be higher. Uh, but your leasing fees will be about the same because you'll still pay the same daily fee. You'll just pay a little bit more on usage fee, the hourly fee. But in return, yeah, in return you'll get uh, a lot more hay or silage or whatever you're making out of the grass. So it should work out, you know. Anyway. Efficiency. You gotta, you know, gotta think efficiency, which is why, you know, I, I've probably made mistakes in previous save games with harvesters. And my crop was ready and they wanted to harvest, and I maybe bought or leased a harvester a little bigger than I needed to just to harvest like one field or one or two small fields because. I mean, it wouldn't have taken that long with a small harvest. You know. Anyway, yeah, I think, that, I think that's how you you do it. I'm not the type to actually get out, you know, actually get a pen and paper and like run the numbers and make sure I'm making a profit and how much profit. Because like, it's a video game and I don't want to add that much work to it. But so I don't know for sure. <laughs> These are assumptions based on logic of you know, basic, basic monetary, like, strategy, I, I don't, that's not even the right way to phrase that either. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. I hope. Alright, so, yeah, we're, we're almost there. I'm gonna run this wind rower through all of the hay. Which actually really shouldn't take too long. So when we unfold this thing too, it's gonna be a big. It's gonna be big, right? It was even wider than that. Oh yeah, it's about maybe about yeah a little wider than the last tool I think I had going on. And I'm definitely not gonna be able to reverse well with this. Like if I try to get back in line, I get oh I got well kind of worked, but no. <laughs> I think it'll still do some of that though actually when it's folded because this one because of the way this this tool is. Yeah, is the yeah. Because the articulation the way it's the way it's done. All right, so we'll just have to just kind of pull around instead of backing up to get back in alignment. We'll pull around here and pull. And look at this. I think this is funny. I think. That, I think this, yeah, <laughs> our neighbor, our neighbor's growing grass in this field. And there's us go the crows. Um, I just find that funny because like that's what he thought. He, he looked at this area and he was like, no, you know what this place could need, you know, could use. Look at this place. Look at all this this whole look at this place. More grass. This dude loves grass. He was like, I'm gonna plow the field, I'm gonna plant what was there already. Grass. More grass for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he harvest it too? Or did he for he didn't fertilize it either. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I find that funny. He was like, fucking grow grass, man. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe there wasn't grass here before, you know. He he's like, "What are you talking about, man? It was all sand. It was, it was terrible, dirt and stumps and sand. But everything else here is grass. So hey, what, whatever, I'll I'll take your word for it, man. But it, it seems like you just mowed the grass or plowed an entire field. It's just, it just made it grass. <laughs> anyway, there's actually reasons you would do that though, and in the game. In fact, also, there are reasons, like, you would want, in case you wanted to use that space for grass, and just keeps coming. Well, actually, it still only grows with wild grass, right? But you can get more, maybe because you, I don't know, there's got to be a reason. It's probably not a reason. It's just a, it's just an AI neighbor. He doesn't, he doesn't even exist. He doesn't even have a house. I mean, he doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. All right, so, we lower the thingy. Did I, all right. I unfolded it now, lower it, and then maybe I can bring this up if you guys want to see the. You gotta probably be on HD to read all that on the top left, but I pressed X to unfold, press V to lower, and then we press B as in Bravo to start it up, and then we just press three for cruise control, and it creates a row. The wind rows makes a row. I'm sure that's not a verb, but I'm I'm making it a verb. Wind rowing. We're wind rowing.
I missed a bit of grass there too. Oh, so. well, I guess it gets mixed up in the hay. I don't know what happened. It went away. All right. So I'll come back and start recording again when I've gotten more wind rowing done. So it's it's about 4 p.m. in the game, 1600, and it so it looks like I'm probably only going to be able to turn uh, let's see wind row this and then maybe bail it out. I might have to work into the night to do the bailing. Unless I save the bailing for tomorrow, but then yeah, we're not gonna we're gonna end up running out of time to get a crop into the ground, except maybe soybean. Um, unless we do something interesting, I was thinking about it. We could potentially try. I've done it once before. Oil seed radish, which sounds weird, but it's it's a it's a cover crop. So radishes grow fast. So oil seed radish grows pretty fast, and then you don't actually harvest it for the radishes. It's a cover crop, so once it is grown after a couple seasons, or uh, not seasons, but a couple of uh, months, maybe in the game, it doesn't take very long. Maybe one month. It after it's grown a bit, basically, you can when it's ready to harvest. You don't ha you don't actually harvest it. You plow it into the field or cultivate it into the field. Any type of the cultivator, this harrow, the plow, anything that turns the soil like you would to prepare the field before you plant your seeds um, you just do that while the oil seed radish is on it, it tills it into the soil and then it, what it does is it acts like the first stage of fertilizer it's your, it's your free fertilizer now of course it's not totally free you planted it but the seeds to plant it is, are cheap and uh, it doesn't take long to pop up and so you, all you lose is basically pretty much the time it takes to plant the oil seed radish and then, you know, it does take a little bit of time to grow, but usually that's time that you wouldn't have been able to spend growing the crop you want to anyway. For instance, if I would run out of time in the middle of summer, I could plant oilseed radish, and then just leave it through winter, really, or till it up, actually, once it's ready, which would be just before winter. Then the soil will be ready and fertilized. So I'll be one step ahead of the game when I plant that next spring. Like, it'll be basically a... The free for the fertilizer step will be skipped because I'll get a free fertilizer step from the green, uh, the cover crop of the radishes. I hope that makes sense. Uh, it's cool. It's just options you have in this game. You have a lot of options. In so even if you don't, if you can't plant what you want to plant, if you're going to be able to plant what you want to plant somewhat soon, you just put oil seed radish in the ground. You'll get that first step of fertilizing, so you only have to fertilize once instead of uh, when, right after plant, and then also late when you know twice what well, right after plant and later on. Oh, I'm going all over the place. <laughs> That's not a rope. That is that is a serpentine. Oh my gosh, I got it all screwed up while I was talking. What's cool is it doesn't matter because if I come back through there, it'll 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 row it again. It'll it'll pick it up and put it back in a straight row. That tree, I think, threw me. I'm gonna blame that tree. Tree threw me off. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and show the correction of this. How you fix this problem? <laughs> All right. So this part's somewhat straight, so we can just keep that. Probably. We're gonna lower it and we're gonna turn it back on. And we're kind of gonna go around this tree and then try not to get so squirrely with it and go do the crazy stuff. That I was. There we go. See. So. It followed a straighter. Yeah, it's straighter. It's more. It's more like a row. Now we're getting kind of a narrow, partial row because I've gone too far the other way. As long as the line that you create is somewhat easy for you to follow with a the baler, then it's fine. <laughs> All right, back to windrowing. So if you look at that, the tractor is starting to get dirtier. The grass, the wet grass, is starting to build up. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. This thing's still nice and clean. Up, oh, into the row. Some of this is not going to be wind road. I'm not going to be able to get to some of this without a lot of maneuvering. And that tree's going to screw me up. Yep, for sure. Sup, tree? So, we have a problem here, buddy. Because I can't. 
can only turn. Uh oh, I'm making it worse. I don't want to have to. Okay, we don't think about anything about this. There we go. Now we just go this way. Oh gosh, Mr. Tree, you you're totally gonna still you're still yeah. Tree is still hanging out with these one. All right, all right. There we go. Good God. Wind rowers make your life easier in general, but not in specific. <laughs> not in this specific situation. Oh, I can't row that too close to the land. That's your. I am all over the place. Alright, that's fine. Not much on this. <laughs> Farming's difficult, you guys. Ah, I I swear to God, I I, I hope I, I make enough money from this to pay for the leasing fees. I probably will. I probably will. Otherwise, all of this will be. All for naught. It will be just... Well, I guess it's still practice with the tools and the tractor. This tractor. And in that way, maybe not entirely a loss, but... Yeah, probably should have waited until later in the year when the grass was more developed. And I guess that is why you would you would plow, it, in this game at least, and maybe even in real life, plow a field, plant grass, fertilize it, get it all thick and bushy or whatever to get more yield right I don't know I don't know I um, this is wow this okay I'm making <laughs> get it okay uh, my rows are all windy and they're that's fine you can't move very quickly with this tool anyway so you can't it can only get so windy So you can see the sun is going to be going down soon. It's past, uh, what is that, 6 p.m.? No, 7 p.m.? Past 7 in the evening, and it is, uh, this, vi this episode is over 30 minutes already, so. I'm going to have to wrap it up after I do this wind rowing. Got this one last row to do. I should do. Alright. Here we go. No, it's not going. I th okay, I thought I hit cruise control, but I uh, must have been turning off instead of on. And yeah, so this last row here, and then we'll be done with the wind rowing today. So I guess I will wait till tomorrow to rent the baler, and cause I don't want to try to do this through the night. It's mm, even if I do it off camera. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I might have some trouble seeing what I'm doing, even w even with lights. All right, so I'm gonna return this to the shop, and instead of taking it there physically, we'll just uh, park the tractor in the driveway, turn off the engine, and even though it's attached, we can probably still do it. Just go to let's see, P, go to shop interface, go to the least items, which is just below the garage icon, and then we just gonna return that, and I guess we're good. Yeah. So we we used it. We we got these rows. There is some are better than others. Um, don't know what our total amount's gonna be. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be. Not gonna be that great. But it's all right. We'll make a little bit of money. Well, it's it's uh, it's farming. It's farming. It's gonna take some time to make enough money to really expand and get better stuff and all of that. All of that. All right. So. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. This has been episode three, right? <laughs> of my Griffin Indiana series. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. This has been Mr. Axbane. Have a great day.